Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Forent, here playing as France in an attempt at a world conquest. So, things are going fairly well, actually. We've managed to vassalize Portugal. We've managed to keep our alliance with Castile, Aragon, and Naples. Obviously, Iberian Union. And um, we need about one more war with England before we can actually uh, just focus on the continent um, and, well, we have to try and deal with Scotland at some point. Um, we're probably going to slowly move towards Italy, which is going to be a little bit annoying because the Pope is there in Italy and the Pope is rather unhappy with me. Um, the, all the Protestant sites of Reformation and one of the Reformed sites of Reformation are on the field. So, uh, we're not going to convert to Protestantism. <laughs> Unless something goes terribly, terribly wrong, um, and I feel the need to. But I'm going to avoid that as much as possible, because we want to try and stay Popple Controller in the late game, so we can get all those wonderful benefits from being Catholic. So, Burgundy got beaten up. They're still allied to Denmark. I think their vassals are still loyal. Yeah, their unions are, and they're... In the process of integrating Flanders, which they'll be done before I can return for a war. Okay. Anyhow, we're currently involved in a Morocco war, and uh, kind of right now I'm trying to prevent Castile from gaining land in North Africa. Uh, once that's dealt with, likely moving back up towards England. Um, that's going to be seven years away. We'll see where we go. I really do need to take the land from the Pope down here, but. Quite a few people in the world rather hate me at the moment. So, we might have a period of, uh, to some degree, catching our breath. And just checking up, getting some ideas, getting a little bit more stable, and we'll see where we're going. I might not actually take uh, exploration ideas yet. I might actually take a military idea, just because we're starting to get to the point where... Everybody else is getting their military bonuses, and we're not. So, I think that would probably be a slightly better move on my part. Um, Castile's only fighting one person, so why is their army not coming south? Huh. Maybe they're just going to let me take down the fort? Ah, on crusade has happened. Nice. That is convenient. We can use all of those benefits that it gives us. Um, yes. We don't want to give any land to Castile if we can help it. They'll probably get one or two provinces, but if we can prevent them from getting the rest, I'll be relatively happy. Um, let's see. Castile, do we have enough favors? Almost. Almost. Lorraine has left the military coalition against me. Does people get a positive modifier from on Crusade? No, they don't. By the way, I've got all my diplomats improving relations with outraged countries because we need to keep them under control. We also need to finish off Brittany here, which is going to be slightly annoying. And uh, we're going to lose that battle. Because my general died midway through it. And it was on a mountain range and I didn't come to the aid. So, my fault there, I guess. I really need to find a country that I can vassal and then expand again with. Milan might not be a bad one if they didn't hate me. Unfortunately, the Pope is becoming a serious problem. This is a real expansionistic pope. And they've gotten away with it, really, because they've been allied to Austria and Mantua. Uh, maybe I stay allied with them and go after the Baltic states? I don't know. Uh, looks like they turned down Anglicanism, Scotland, which means they're going to stay Catholic, which is good. Or else they're going to go reformed, and we don't know which yet. 
a little bit up in the air at the moment. I really do need to get this army to a place where they're not suffering constant attrition. I just pull it back to that. Oh. Okay. As soon as I move, Castile moves as well. They're going for the fort, so. We do actually have a claim on Tangier, so there's a tiny, tiny, tiny chance Castile would give it to us. Okay, nothing else going on. Argon has invaded Tunis. Very, lately, the AI seems very prone to invading uh, Tunis, I found. I don't know why. Okay, Fez should fall, and then we'll see where we end up going. Once it falls, I want to move to Occupy Melilla and move this way as soon as I can, so that doesn't give them any advantage. Just waiting on admin tech, really. Obviously, the institution has to spread to us. There's no point in me trying to develop it, because literally right on my doorstep these days. As long as I occupy the coast though, Castile shouldn't be able to take land. Uh, people were spying on me, what a surprise. Province under my occupation, what a surprise. As long as I restrain Castile from going nuts into Africa, I don't have to deal with them becoming as great of a great power, if at all possible. I guess I can help Castile with the siege. I've got a cannon, so that does speed things up a little bit. Um, we're not going to hire you, unfortunately. Hopefully we get this tech soon enough. Let's see. Anything? No. Hopefully we get the tech soon, and that way we can worry about... Um, I think we can eat a 10% tech penalty because we've got... Uh, or 10 or so, because we already did take the uh, innovative 10% tech cost, which should help a lot. I really need to get those two trees finished. I already got influence, but I mean, innovative done. That way we can actually get the, uh, again, more reduced aggressive expansion. Let's try again for the papacy. The problem is Castile is going to take these lands if I control the coast. The AI is particularly fond of doing so. And um, one of my least favorite events in the games with the nobility costs you a tax development because. Um, exploration would be nice so I can start colonizing, but right now the colonial speed is rather pitiful. We have to go up. Um, we really have to hit 11 or I have to hit 15 and I have to go down the tree a lot before it becomes productive. I'm thinking defensive ideas are probably more, more useful. Defensive is just really strong overall. That's why I want to do it. It'll give us insane morale. No one can beat us on the morale front. The other options go offensive, but that's not really what I need because the only bonus to real actual combat is discipline. Quality wouldn't be the worst, but then again, there's the three ship ideas, which kind of make it not as useful. I think we'll go defensive for the beginning. And apparently we've got an idea group here. Oh, we'll do Tolerance of Heretics. Not that I think we're actually going to have any trouble with the Reformation so far. I 
go. Royal Mail Ridge with Scotland actually has ended. Um, we need to get a royal marriage up there. If she dies, it's a cessation war between me and Denmark. I am all for that. Please die, Goshishlita. Please die. Okay, this war is pretty much over. We did waste a lot of our manpower on it, which is kind of sad, but what you get when you're fighting in the desert. Especially the Berbers in the desert. Well, that's pretty much everything we need so we can pull out. Uh, Portugal's still rather mad at us. Let's see. Oh, they actually give me a province. Or two. And they don't hate me too much for it. I guess that's convenient. Of course, now I'm going to have to try and re keep a hold of Sunni land in North Africa. Um, not really ready for that. Castile has inherited Aragon, and this forms Spain. Of course they have. Okay. Spain is relatively loyal now. Um, we should probably throw down some buildings, because I haven't been able to afford that for a while. And I should not do that. Cancel, cancel, cancel. What I should do is accept this. We have five churches. We need five workshops. At least that's a start. That's four rather than five. They're about equivalent. Obviously, we need to maximize as much money as we can. Uh, I'm going to move you back up here. Where's my other... Oh, they got stuck in North Africa. You know, it's probably not the worst thing in the world for them to be in North Africa right now. Um, but I should probably stop my ships from sailing around. Oh, and mothball forts. Um, next target should be England, I guess, in two-ish years? It'll allow us to finish off Brittany and then deal with... Unfortunately, we're going to end up in a war with Austria pretty much no matter what we do. Still got high power projection, which is nice. Royal marriage with Bohemia ended. I'm not too worried. Let's get attack despite the penalty. And get army tradition, so that's going to help in the long run. Uh, get a royal marriage with Bohemia, I think. The Estes of Hess have interestingly taken over Bohemia. Okay. Any chance you can just die, <laughs> Scottish ruler? Um, you know what, let's actually march this army up to there in case of a war with Brittany. We'll at least be on the border. How's the coalition look? Uh, no one really is in a coalition versus me at the moment. They're a little too worried about it. Can I threaten the Pope for a land? No. In an event with the war with England, the Pope is going to get involved anyhow. Build buildings. Got it. Not the most useful bonus to income, but it's a little bit extra money. And I can always use it. Boy, Paris is definitely my richest province. <laughs> um, we could add Burgundy to states. Probably do that. Burgundy. Make territory. Add to state. For all provinces. I can't do that. Interesting. Um, give you to the clergy. We still haven't rebased our trade, so actually we're going to be making a fair amount of money in uh, the Champagne trade node anyhow. Which is nice to see. Of course it's going to take a while for those provinces to lower in autonomy, but that's just the way it goes. Um... Probably should just rival Austria. They hate me anyway. 
Plus it'll just dissuade Castile from getting involved with that. Um, can I work my estates yet? Nope. Okay. I need to embargo Austria. Yep. Keep that power projection as high as I can for as long as I can to get the biggest benefit. We pretty much had good power projection for most of the game so far, so I'm happy with that. It looks like the Pope has actually broken their alliance with England. I think that's going to be Austria and Utrecht. A little confused. I don't know if they actually had the alliance or just I imagined it. I might have just imagined it at this point. Um... Let's see, is there any nation in Europe I can offer vassalization to? Milan would accept. Milan would accept. Okay, let's do this then. If Milan is willing to accept vassalization, I am going to take the Imbrosia Republic as a vassal. That would be really useful. Uh, let's just quick make sure I didn't lose my... I did lose my Royal Lineage with Scotland, so let's reconfirm that. Royal Lineage with Spain. If our monarch dies, there's a chance we'll get a secession war between us and Austria. We should be able to rebel against them, considering how large we are. Uh, we will do... We will move to get Milan under our control. We can feed Milan a lot of land in Italy. Specifically, we can retake the land that the Pope and um, Switzerland stole. Come on. There you go. Now we influence and we send them a gift, and we should be able to just outright vassal them. Yep, one more gift. Then hopefully they stay willing to be a vassal. Come on. Gotcha. There we go. Milan is now a vassal. Also, in case you're wondering why I'm not too worried about colonizing the New World, I have Portugal. Portugal should be doing it. They've got exploration and expansion. I might actually return um, Lisbon to them, though. Let's see how they're actually doing economically. Yeah. Doesn't appear that they're actually... Oh, wait, that's... Okay. Pay off their debt. Oh, it doesn't appear they're actually colonizing at the moment. They should still be able to. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I do need to give them back Portugal. Uh, Lisbon. Might as well do it. They do get events for it. We only lose a little bit of stuff. They, of course, will remove their capital straight back to Lisbon. I don't mind losing a little bit of it just to boost uh, Portugal back up. Who is subsidizing them? I'm curious. The Pope is subsidizing Portugal at the moment. Interesting. And there's Burgundy under control. Okay. England. Brittany, Austria, and Utrecht. Okay, that means we have to get this back to Europe. Knowledge sharing. Um, sure, I guess. It's going to be expensive, though. How's Scotland doing? I really need an heir there. Okay, Milan is under control. Can we threaten anybody for Milan's lands? Okay, doesn't look like it. So if we're going to do anything, we're going to have to fight a war to return land. In the meantime, though, we'll let Milan stay alive. They should have most of the their cores should stay under their control. Unless they've been forced to revoke them. 
16 something. Okay, so no real rush there. We'll scurry that up to there and move the arm up as well. Then we'll just cross the channel. It should be shorter than running back and forth constantly. Uh, let's smash these Portuguese rebels for them. This, I guess, will be nice to them. There we go. Easy victory. We need a stability, though. Yeah, man. What are we focusing again? Admin. Yeah, somewhat stable. 35 year olds. Okay. We could pass active uniformity, but that would again negate some of our benefits. Mm, I don't know. Anyhow, I need to pick a fight with France, uh, England. Do I still have the do I have the ability to call in Spain? I almost do. I should wait till I can. When is that? February of next year. I can wait a year. And then we'll call them in and we should be able to overrun them relatively fast. I mean it's a very poor England. Unless, of course, it's a war where Austria wouldn't join. Interesting. Okay. We do have a new heir. That is a very bad heir, actually, though. I think I gotta disinherit them, which just sucks, because we just got an heir. The Scots, out of the blue, got an heir as well, which is a little annoying. <sighs> well, we got a 35 year old ruler. Much better of an heir, their heir. Much better. That's a 9 ruler, which is what we want. As close to 9 as possible. Ideally, we want above 9, but that'll happen later on, probably. Okay, August. Um, I should probably throw down that. We still don't have, apparently, enough income to actually fully raise forts and everything. Um, Portugal should be colonizing, are they? They are, good. Portugal is still colonizing, however slowly they are doing so. They've reached the Caribbean and everything, so there is that. We did try and stop them, but it was far too little too late. However, I can just later on vassalize them and gain control of all their colonies. At the cost of needing to uh, accept Portuguese culture as a normal thing. Um, which I don't really have any qualms against doing. Let's embrace Burgundy, though. Um, we'll ask for military aid. Just a little bit. Okay. Tiny little effects going on that don't bother us that much. We should be able to attack England and call in virtually everybody. Um, I might actually do that just so I don't have to deal with Austria. Um, we want Montgomery should be the big focus. Part of the reason I do have to call them in is uh, otherwise Scotland tends to start their own war to conquer England. Which is rather annoying. Yeah, forts are up and maintained once more. These guys somehow snuck past me. Not enough, but this should allow us to finish off Brittany and then finish off Austria. But anyhow, that will wait to another episode because um, this one's running a bit long. So thank you guys all for watching. Uh, next time we should move to take the entire English coastline. And once we do that, then we can worry about um, rebuilding Milan and uh, seeing if we can beat up Burgundy once more. I did accidentally force Burgundy into the HRE, which is annoying. Should have been paying a little bit more attention, but I think Austria hates them, yes. So I could theoretically attack Burgundy because the Emperor would not defend their rival. So hopefully that will work. Obviously we're going to have a break when we're so overexpanded, but currently that is the plan. So thank you guys all for watching. 
Any suggestions you have, please leave them below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.